That's okay. And we were talking about Dixon yesterday. A little bit. What? In the homes you lived in? Yeah, we lived in about five to six homes. Right. So you moved? Constantly. All the time. Well, the first 11, 11 years we lived in, I lived in my home where I was born in Monroe Avenue. And that's kind of the rundown home you told me about. Well, it's pretty rundown. It's right next to the railroad. Is We're that the one where you had the big garden? Well, because we own the whole block. Okay, so but that's the one mm -hmm. you showed me. Yeah. That where you, you used to raise all the vegetables and. Yeah. Right. And did you sell any of that stuff, or is no, all can. for, you canned it and then? Ate all women. Then you lived on it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure my yeah. folks gave a lot of it away. But we didn't not just, uh, now after we moved to the strawberry up on Hemlock Avenue, which was I was sophomore in high school by then. Right. Maybe now is that the home where Ann lives? No, no. 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 We moved from Monroe Avenue to Highland Avenue mm -hmm. to another home on Highland Avenue. And I'm sure my father must have made a little money on each place. Okay. Because that would be the only reason to To sell it. To sell. And then we moved to um, Ottawa Avenue, and that's where uh, Bob and Ann were born. Okay, and then when did you... Um, and then we moved to Hemlock Avenue. But the, when did you live in Amboy? Uh, when I was about uh, 13, 14. Uh -huh. I moved to Amboy. My father was the agent. Right. And he was but, so you didn't you didn't have a house in Dixon at all then. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So you lived upstairs at the railroad station. Right. And they had in Amboy. Four bed, I think four bedrooms. It was quite nice and like yeah. nice big kitchen. Really. Dining room. But you room. didn't own that. That was just. No, that was. The company owned that. Yeah, the company, and that was probably a plus. It came with the <laughs> came with job. the job. Mm -hmm. Right. But we only lived there, not more than a. Maybe a little more than a year. I, I'm not. Okay, and you months. were there were thirteen or fourteen. Then. And we lived there till I was um, out of high school. Oh, so you lived there for several years. Three or four years, at least. So. Because I can remember going back and forth, getting you, a job. You, you, um, you didn't go to high school in Amboy, though, did you? No. Back so how did you get to Dixon? Because we. Uh, well, I mean, carpooled. how how did you get? Car carpool. So somebody there somebody. was a. There was several. My folks wanted all of us to. To go to school together. Uh huh. So we did. Okay. So you drove, and that's that's like about a fifteen mile drive. What ten? Ten mile drive. Well, maybe twelve. To so put the didn't take too long. No. You got there in it a was, half an hour. It was. Or less. Right. Mother, I'm fine. Thank you. But, um, and then we moved to uh, Ann's house. I mean, the house that yeah. the Ann still lives in. Right. No, but you didn't live there very long at all. Mm -mm. Three years. Two years. Well, how old were you when you got married? Uh, I was almost twenty. Okay. I was out of high school at sixteen. Though. Oh, you were. Gosh, so would you start about five four. years old, four years old? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Well, maybe, see, my father had TB. Uh huh. And uh, my mother had to go to work in a shoe factory. Okay. Because there was no aid for. Right. Well, this is right in the middle of the Depression. Right. And uh, the neighbor next door took care of us. Mm hmm. And it was Margaret, I mean, Margaret, Evelyn, and I. And uh, the nuns were very <coughs> close to my mother. Okay. And I would turn, well, I turned four in March. I was really four and a half uh -huh. by September when school started. So you were, you were like a year and a half younger than everybody else in your class. Which was bad because when I got to be in high school, I wanted to date. Right. And you were 12, 12 <laughs> and they were 14. Right. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't allowed. And that did not make me very happy. No, I don't imagine. But anyway, and I, gratefully I was a girl because I don't think little boys would have, you know, 
I think girls mature faster than boys. Yeah. You know? And uh, I didn't have any trouble in school, yeah. except I talked too much. Yeah. I got in trouble all the time. Yeah. You too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's inherited. It's genetic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a common problem. So, um, so, but you didn't, how did you meet Dad? After I was out of high school. You were out of high school. So this is during the war. During the war, and I worked for okay. the Office of Price Administration, OPA, Office of, Office okay. of Price Administration. And you had to come in there to get your coupons to, for rationing. Right. And Ellen Lauer brought Phil in, and I worked there. Okay, Ellen was Dad's cousin. And she worked for the uh, utility company. Right. And they came in to get to fill out papers to get your gas, your oil, your sugar, your meat. Right. Went off. And that's how I met him. Right. And so what, what year was that? 1943? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was 43. Uh -huh. So you met Dad. Dad was home because he was injured? No, he was, well, can't really... He wasn't really, I think he took a temporary, I think a leave, and I, this was probably not true. His group was ready to go overseas. He was in a bomber command, right? Yeah, right. And he thought he wanted, should go home and see his mother for a couple of weeks. Right. And so he was home on leave, just for a couple of weeks at that time. I, it could have been, even been three weeks, or right. it was quite a while. Wasn't so so he brought in, so he said hello, or you said hello? Hello, and I had a date that night. Yeah, they, what did you do? I think we just went to a... Like a sweet place. shop or something? Yeah. And, and had a soda and a burger or something well, like that? Or a cup of coffee, maybe. Was, was Dad in uniform? Yeah, he, he looked was mighty uniform. good, too. Yeah? Yeah. And so, he had a nice time. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, he met me after work and picked me up. Yeah. It just progressed from there. Right, and then he went back to his he station. He went back and his, his group had already gone. While he was on leave? Mm hmm So he was in Texas? Then he moved it, then they transferred him to Texas. And I, I San Antonio. So, and, so that's not, I'm surprised they didn't send him along with his squadron. Well, he, he wasn't coming back from his I'm sure there was probably reasons, but right. he didn't, wasn't coming back from his leave for like three weeks. I don't know exact time, right. it could have been 19 days or 21 days. So he got transferred to a different And he was lucky. Crew. Yes, he, because bomber pilots... The fidelity was pretty high. Was it like 50% mm -hmm. or so? And he liked San Antonio. So he, he they sent him to San Antonio, mm -hmm. to a base there. The name of, I should remember because after the service, after we got married, and he, had, he had a job in San Antonio, and uh, we went back with. I had Laura, our Carol, and went back. We didn't go back to. Uh, it wasn't Carol. Carol wasn't born yet. No, no, no. I'm I'm skipping. Okay. But I should remember the name of the field, and I want to say Biggs Field, but I think that was. Uh, okay. So Dad went back. Into the millet, I mean, to his, to his assignment base or right. whatever. Mm -hmm. To his, um, he reported for duty. Right. And you stay. You were in Dixon, right. so you'd only known each other a week or two. About three think. weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, and we wrote about twice a day, every oh, day. Oh my! Really? Yeah. And you yeah. know, I threw those letters away. Oh no! Oh, well, they're gone long. You long. threw them away. Uh, well, yeah. After a while. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I bet right. you wish. I bet you wish you hadn't. I think Carol has the letter I wrote to uh, Dad when, after Laura, Carol was born. Yes, yeah. when she was born, of course, I was like twenty-one. Yeah. And I didn't. Was not too familiar with babies. I was right. not my own baby, and I counted her toes yeah. and her fingers, and I described this uh -huh. this baby to uh, her I'd daddy. Like, I'd like to see that. I Carol has that letter. I'd like to see that. That's yes. really cute. And Dad was in China then? It was in Burma. Mm -hmm. Was he in the hospital then? Uh -huh. Or not? He was in the hospital. He, he, well, he was, um, 
He was in the hospital before she was born, but I didn't know it. Right. Because they didn't want me to. Right. So you didn't know, but you wrote to him. You didn't know what no, he was I didn't. doing. I just, you know, wrote every day. So dad went, dad went back to his base. He went back, he reported for duty, and you guys were sending love letters back and forth. Right. Mm -hmm. Mushy and stuff. And, you know, mushy, mushy. You know, miss you, oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think we could get married? And that's how it came up? Uh huh. Yeah. And I said yes. Yeah, by, by mail. Uh huh. By mail. Well, he called me a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, called but, you a few times. But, um, but he, you know, that was like, okay, this is the middle. But that happened a lot. Yeah, this is the middle of the war. Middle of the war. Middle of the war. And people, are people making decisions they don't normally make? Right. You know, and they just feel like, well, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, so let's let's just right. let's do this. And we had about a week and a half to get ready, and we got married on a Tuesday. So you've been writing back and forth, and you you and agreed to get married, and so then he arranged to get, get some home. leave, mm -hmm. and so he took a train mm -hmm. back to Rockford or something, or all the way to Amboy or wherever, and so he came back home. And then you got married a few days later. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Kind of a dumb day. In which church? In Dixon? Same, yeah, St. Pat's. In, in, in St. Pat's in Dixon. And I think he really... Um, so who came Who came to the wedding? Well, all my relatives. All so, those relatives. Well, that's, that's a couple hundred. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the reception was at my mother's house. Right. It was, so, there was no... So what, 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 um, what, was what, when was it? Sandwich. What time of year? Oh, it was August, August 22nd. So it was middle of summer. It was hot. And hot and no air it conditioning. Hot. It was hot. Mm -hmm. So w was it like on the yard or inside, out, outside? Inside, people were, inside and outside. Yeah, people go but outside. the food probably was to, inside. And uh, right. we made sandwiches the night before, finger sandwiches. Uh -huh. And uh, a wedding cake. Uh -huh. We ordered the wedding cake from the White's White, White, White Bakery. But other than that, everything else was homemade. Oh, my folks didn't have the money. Well, of course, that's it. But after the wedding, after the wedding, we went to a coffee shop, which was quite nice. It was a nice restaurant, but it was, mm -hmm. I can't remember. It was called a coffee, something coffee shop. And we had the immediate the wedding, party. wedding party. And it was like a, a dinner. Were your sisters in the wedding? Margaret was in the wedding. Oh, she yeah. wore my dress that I wore to the prom because then my folks didn't have to buy another dress. Right. But it was I wore Margaret's wedding dress and I and then after I wore it, Rosemary wore it. And it was twenty two dollars oh. in the veil. Yeah. So it must have been pretty exciting though. It was exciting. Yeah. And then um, Margaret Chuck was already overseas by then. He was uh -huh. in Europe. He was in D-Day. He was. And, uh, but he he was injured, but he wasn't killed, thank God. Right. But uh, was he hurt badly? No, a shrapnel. Shrapnel. So he was in the hospital for a while, and right. then, mm -hmm. then they put him back in. I don't in remember the how long he was over there right. in, in Europe. Right. But um, in a lot of ways, that. Saved Dad's life, going from missing that bomber. Squadron. You know, so for some reason, I know there's more to that story, but but for some reason he didn't get sent to Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, who knows? And he um, really wouldn't have had to go then either, because he was an only child, only son of a widow. Okay. And they were making exceptions for the. Well, there must have been yeah several things because they weren't asking people you know, just because they were on leave. No. They would just say, you're expected back here Prompto. by Wednesday, and you're leaving on Thursday. Right. Mother, yeah. when did he get the dysentery? Was that in the war? Yes, yeah. it was in the war. Uh -huh. I wondered if it was happened. after his plane crashed. Okay. Yeah. They, he was in the hospital to be checked over. He wasn't hurt in the crash. No, right? no, what, no none of them were. So he was went, but they put him in the hospital to check him over, and they yeah. found out he had dysentery. Yeah. He lost. Yeah. Oh. He was sick. Well, right. we can die from that too. Right. But, um, so, so this is you. Were, you were married in forty-three or forty-four? Forty-four. What, Carol was what, born. In what month? August. Oh, August you say August. So this is the war's getting on, and Dad had never been sent overseas. 
So he, you had 10 days. You had a little honeymoon. Right, about 10 days. You went days. to Garden City. Well, we, no, we went to Wisconsin for he three went to Wisconsin. days. Uh -huh. Okay. So you had, a, you had a few days honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And then Dad had to report back for dinner. Then we went to Garden City, Kansas. Oh, then you went to Garden City. Yeah. Then I went with Not them. many people drive to Garden City. Must, must have had a nice sounding name. So. Well, it did. It had a few trees, and once you were outside of town, Nothing. Yes, it's, it's not the honeymoon capital. <laughs> and then he was uh, transferred to um, Malden, Missouri. And uh, there's another little town adjacent, like Amboy and Dixon, even closer. Right. But um, we lived in a. So you, you, you moved down there with him? Right. You didn't stay in Dixon? No, no, no. I so you got a little apartment? Yeah. It was an apartment that had. I think 20 windows. It was just a um, uh -huh. couple of rooms. It was one room. One room. But, but it's like a porch here. almost. It was a porch, but it was all glassed in. Right. In the bathroom, you got to open the door and walk down the hall. Yeah. But then I was pregnant. It's like a rooming house. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, so you were pregnant before Dad went overseas. Uh -huh. Well, of course, but I mean. Right. I was about five months. But, alone. but he. Oh, you were five months alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he he didn't get the news overseas. He, I mean, yeah, it wasn't he did. He got the news that the baby was born. Yes, but I know. But he before he he was here in the United States when when you you know you knew you when were he pregnant. Knew I was you didn't write him a letter saying I'm no. going to have a baby. And no, all no. That. Mm -hmm. So five months along. So this is 1945. 45. So he didn't get. It sent. could have been 41. It could have been even maybe January, February. Because I was about, I know I had a coat, and I was showing pretty good. Right. But Kara was born June, right. yeah, twelfth. So. Um, so um, he he didn't go. So he was sent overseas. He was sent to India or Burma. Burma. Mm -hmm. He was sent to Burma in 1945. Right. And at this time. It's a horrible country. Yeah, at, the, at this time, this was... Burma is no longer. Now, at this time, this was after D-Day. Oh, yes. Yeah, after D-Day. So, Quite a while after D-Day. So, I mean, people were used to the war by now. Yeah. And I guess everybody... Well, there was just a sense of, that everybody was in it together. Right. And so you had all these people around you to support you, and you didn't feel... Alone. No, you really didn't feel alone because there were a lot of women in the same right. same situation. Right. So they sent Dad. So Dad was a pilot, mm -hmm. and he'd been training and flying, and he was a captain. Right. And um, of course, the commanders of the planes were captains, I guess. So he he was the commander of his plane. Mm -hmm. He was the pilot. Right. The pilot and co-pilot. Right. And navigator and mm -hmm. bombardier. Well, he wasn't on no, a bomber. No, what I meant, but they dropped supplies. Right, right, right. There was five in right. the plane. Right, and he was flying a C... 47. C-47. Mm -hmm. And so he left in, like, January, mm -hmm. was it? January or early February. I can't, can't tell you the exact date. Okay, but somewhere in mm -hmm. there. So it's getting near the end of the war in Europe. But of course, well, people, we didn't, people didn't know that. We didn't know that. People didn't know that then. Mm -hmm. They didn't, of course, nobody knew. You know, it's easy and now. And I really didn't even realize how bad a country Burma was. Well, no. you didn't even know where it was on the map, probably. Well, Not until I went back to a few reunions Yeah. later on. You know, well, Burma's years. still a bad place. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it showed the airstrips, right. bodies laying all over the airfield. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? I guess they hadn't been picked up yet. After oh, these were casualties from the war. Casualties from the war. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then it hit you when you're much older. But you didn't know about that. Oh no. And they didn't show that on. Oh no, they the didn't show it on TV. Or the well, movies. We didn't even have TV. Reels. No. Yeah. So so Dad took off, and he's told me about that trip. Because yeah. he had to fly to South America, I guess. I can't tell well, you. Well, I, I mean, this is this is where I wished he, I could talk to him again because. He's told me these stories, and I never could quite figure out. I mean, I've kind of pieced it together. I think he flew to South America, then he flew to this little island in the middle 
of the Atlantic. Yeah, and, what, and that's one of the seven wonders of the world, that um, island. Oh gosh, well I'll have to find out what that is. And then he flew on to Africa. Mm -hmm. And then he flew into the Middle East, Yemen, he said. Yeah. And he had some interesting stories. He's always told that story oh. about Yemen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I guess this take, takes a week or two to get all the way to where he's going, probably. It took between five and seven days. All right. Because you're only there long enough to review. So they stay overnight, they right. get something to eat, they get a little rest, and then they take off again. Right. Go to the next place. And those planes only go a couple hundred, two, two hundred miles an hour or so, two, three hundred miles well, an hour. Well, they didn't go like they do today. Right, so I mean it takes a lot longer to get from one place to another. Mm -hmm. And um, so then he was in Yemen and he has a little adventure there that's just part of a different story. But you know that story. Yeah. Yeah. No, he just didn't get back alive. Right. <laughs> and you wander in the wrong neighborhood. And, right. And then he skipped over and ended up in Burma. Right. And you don't know the name of the town in Burma or the part of Burma? I remember the name of the, the river, the Bra Brahma, Brahma Putra. The, the Brahma, Brahma, Brahma Putra. 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 Yeah, it's B-R-A-H, something like M-A Putra. I can look it up. That could even have been changed. Cause well, maybe not, though. That's so many pictures I know of he and couple of his buddies <coughs> in a little John boat yeah. fishing and yeah. and he just had some done in his shorts. Yeah. And that's when I realized how sick he'd been. Oh really? Because it was just a skeleton. Really? Okay. Yeah. Of course the war was over in in August. August and he came home in the middle of November. So he didn't come home for quite a while. No. Afterwards. And he came Took 30 days to come home because he came home by boat. Came home by boat. Mm -hmm. And all his, uh, he collected a few little treasures for me and I'm sure for his mother. So but the, um, when, um, so he was in Burma. Right. And you were back here. Right. And would you write him? <coughs> Every day. Every day. And how often would you hear back from him? I'd get two or three letters at once. Right. So about once a week you'd get a packet of letters? Or else, even a couple times a week. A couple times a week. Mm -hmm. So he was writing often. He was writing, yeah. He was okay. very loyal. Yeah. yeah like well, and that's your little lifeline <coughs> back to home. Right. And you're a long mm -hmm. ways away. And he, he was like most people. Well, he'd been around the United States a little with his... Um, and remember, he was a little bit older than a lot of his... Um, right. Right. But um, almost no <coughs> one... You know, he never flew a plane before going no. in the military, and mm -hmm. almost no one had been overseas. All he knew, all he had said when he joined the Air Force, he didn't want to be an infantryman, so right. he joined the Air Force. Right. Right. He just thought Start it was... It was yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it all worked out for yeah. us. Uh -huh. But, um, so he, he got over to Burma, and so this is maybe like February now. <coughs> Something like that. And um, you guys were sending... April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. It was there about 10 months then. Okay. So that would have been February, or so, January, February. January, so February. February. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you, you, and you don't have any of these letters. Okay. It'd be interesting reading now. Not so much for what he was, for what he would be talking about, just to see <coughs> what was on his mind and what kind of stuff would he talk about. Just mostly yearning to get home. Really? Uh -huh. Really? See his, Go back and see his daughter. His baby girl. His daughter. And me. Yeah. And his mom. He was very close to his mother. Yeah. And she was she was a belle. And I, I really often think how well she raised these two children, Rosemary. Because when he did come home, <coughs> he came in to Amb Mendota, which mm -hmm. was only 15 miles from Amboy. Mm -hmm. But I took Laura, I mean Carol, and put her in the back seat of the car. This was long before. Oh, of course. <coughs> and she was like five months old. Right. And I went down to Mendota to uh -huh. greet her myself. And I thought that was pretty good of her. She didn't 
insist on going. That was her son. She let you go. She let me go. And then she, you, you brought him home to her. And Did you, you drove down? I drove down. Right. And oh, when I got back, she cried and cried. I bet she did. I bet she did. Did you know people that were killed in the war? And if one of those good friends, or one of our one of I one of our friends that we I met during the service, Jim Palmer, her name was, and his wife Jenny, his wife. A week later, after he'll come home. I mean, I got a letter. And. And yeah. her husband had been killed. Yeah, I ran into the mountain. In a plane. In a plane. In a plane. Uh -huh. This was after the war was over. No. This was well, started. the war was over, but they were still dropping supplies. Right. I mean, they still were in the service, and right. they were still flying. <coughs> so, but I mean, that yeah, that would be especially heartbreaking because you think after the war, you know, finally they're safe. Uh huh. But they weren't. No, they weren't. There were people shot. Um, my um. Julie's uncle, somebody she never met, uh -huh. um, her mom's brother, um, was shot and killed by a Japanese after the war uh -huh. in the Philippines. He was hiding up in the hills, and you know he never surrendered. Right. And you know, so she's she always has a grudge against Japanese. Right. Because, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people well, from sure that time did. never really forgot. They went on with their lives, but, you know, peace, people that lost a somebody. Peace. Yeah, a piece is missing. Yeah. yeah. And, um, 